Never saw you dressed quite so lovely once more, once more. I could hardly wait to keep our date this lovely Easter morning. And my heart beats fast as I came through the door. How about the Lima Bean Chorus bringing us the start of Faith and Friends? We'll have more with them in a moment on a big event coming up a little later on this month. But Zach and Jennifer kicking off our show, guys. Thank you, Andy. What a what a talented group of guys. We should there. kick off the show that way every week with a little bit of a little bit of music and get everybody started. We'll have to think about that. <laughs> Great job by the Lima Bean Chorus. <laughs> yes, and then, like Andy said, we welcome all of you to our Easter week Faith and Friends show. He is risen. Let's celebrate Easter <laughs> all week long, not just on Easter Sunday. Mm, the risen Christ is definitely something to celebrate, and new life in Christ is available to you and me as a free gift. Let's read about that free gift right now in Romans 6, looking at verses 3 through 5. Do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we, will also, we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. That unity is something that we talk about a lot as Christians and Christians in the body that um, Maybe we have our, our, our disagreements or our differences, but we, are, um, we celebrate one thing, Jennifer, and one thing only, which is Christ came and he died for us. And of mm -hmm. course, as we remember this season, he rose from the dead and conquered the grave. And you know, even in those moments when that unity isn't the way it should be, the forgiveness of Jesus still is valid and can come in and hmm. can heal those issues and those situations. And that unity in Christ can be restored because when Jesus rose from the dead, he conquered right. everything. He right. conquered not just death, but he conquered every issue that Satan tries to bring up to cause problems. That's right, and, and Satan would love nothing more than to divide Christians over things and, and have them lose the perspective that is what we celebrate, which is Christ and what he did for us. Well, special things to share with you coming up on today's Faith and Friends, including information about honey. Could it be considered God's gift to your health? Plus a brand new event in Putnam County, encouraging dads to be good role models for their daughters. But first, let's send it back to Andy to find out about something special coming up soon with the Lima Bean Chorus. Andy. Thank you. We're joined once again by the Lima Bean Chorus getting ready for their big event. Comes up Saturday, April the 18th, 2 p.m. and 7.30. The Hot Air Buffoons and the Con Men will also be there to sing and some comedy as well. And Terry Rickenbaugh, spokesman for these fine gentlemen. How many guys are in the group right now? We currently have 42 members. And how often do you all get together and, and are singing as a group? We rehearse every Tuesday year-round uh, out of Merrimore School. And then we do about 24 performances a year. 
I know I've seen you guys at basketball games, at football events. Tell us kind of some of the other things you guys do throughout the community. We do uh, fairs and festivals, uh, just different organizations that call us for entertainment for maybe a luncheon or a Christmas party or something that they have going on. So we're pretty versatile. You've been doing this for over two decades. What's your favorite event? Is it the big one coming up? Yeah, our annual show is always the highlight of the year. The guys rehearse uh, probably six, seven months of the year for it, so it's a big deal. And this year, I love the theme, movie songs from the past. What are some of the things we'll hear? Well, this one, it's always a challenge each year to come up with something, and this one, uh, movies from the 40s and 50s and maybe a few after that, but uh, a bulk of the movie shows and movie uh, Broadway were back in that era, mm -hmm. so you'll hear uh, Easter Parade that we just did, uh, which came from actually three different movies. Mm -hmm. You'll hear uh, a song from Paint Your Wagon. Um, we'll hear songs um, White Christmas, oh, wow. which is from another movie, of course, uh, Over the Rainbow, oh, okay. uh, Wizard of Oz, and uh, so there was uh, a lot of familiar ones that they'll uh, enjoy. People want to get their tickets soon. I'm sure these go quickly. Fifteen dollars. How do they go about getting their tickets? Well, this week up until uh, next Tuesday. They can get them from any chorus member and or from the Civic Center and after next Tuesday they'll exclusively be at the Civic Center. All right well thank you very much Terry Rickenbaugh. You can go watch Reflections Saturday the 18th either the afternoon performance at 2 or 7 30 in prime time and then Sunday the 19th if you're a father you can take your daughter to a special event up in Putnam County and Jennifer is here with more. Thank you, Andy. Well, there are many studies out there that say if a dad spends time with his daughter while growing up, it makes a positive difference, not just at that moment, but for many years to come. And the good news is, even for dads who didn't always have that chance, it's never too late to start. In Lipsick, a brand new event is being planned, giving dads one special night to show their daughters just how special they really are. The first daddy-daughter date night is Sunday, April 19th. And organizer Adam Cup is here with us to talk more about this event. Adam, thank you so much for joining us on Faith and Friends. Thank you for having me. So let's start out by just talking about the event. When is it, where is it, and what's it all about? Sure, uh, the event is actually April 19th uh, and it will be held at the uh, Fogel Center uh, there in Lipsick, uh, an event hall uh, that is utilized for wedding receptions and those types of uh, events. Uh, the event uh, will have a lot of opportunities and activities for both the dad and the daughter. Um, we have uh, the opportunity of having a uh, photographer on hand mm. uh, that will provide a formal uh, photo uh, as a keepsake uh, for the dad and the daughter. Um, probably one of the things that gets uh, the most attention is uh, we'll actually have a chocolate fountain on hand. <laughs> uh, a lot of the uh, daughters and probably fathers alike uh, enjoy uh, that, uh, that uh, opportunity to see something like that. Um, but uh, in addition to that, obviously, we're, uh, we're, uh, it's a joy to have uh, both Hannah uh, Beck that will be there that evening uh, to perform for us and uh, your own Andy Lynch uh, will be there to MC the event for us. So uh, it's an evening uh, full of opportunities for the dads and daughters to hang out. So we're excited. Why did you even want to go through the effort to start something like this? Sure, sure. Uh, well, personally um, and selfishly, I have two daughters myself, uh, my oldest daughter being 15 and my youngest 11. And so um, I've had the opportunity to take them uh, to a similar event uh, put on by a Christian radio station in the Fort Wayne area. And uh, as I sat through that first year, uh, I recall thinking, um, I'd really like to bring this back to Northwest Ohio and in particular uh, into our area um, because I certainly felt that there was an opportunity uh, to kind of share in this same idea uh, with similar dads and, and daughters in our, in our area. So it kind of started about three years ago that I had this idea. Um, and from there, it just kind of slowly uh, came about through talking to the Lipsick Ministerial Association, who is kind of overseeing the, uh, the project. And uh, they gave me the green light and uh, here it is. So, you know, families are busy these days. You and I were talking before our interview about swimming. We both have swimming daughters. So we do a lot of things with our families. Sure. <clears throat> but why is it so important to set aside time like this where it's truly just the dad and the daughter and it's targeted 
it's not a swimming event, it's not a sporting event, it's not a music event, it's a time for just them. Sure. I think that's, uh, you, you hit the nail on the head. I think it's an opportunity for the dads and the daughters uh, to see each other outside of the busy norm uh, that we experience you know, daily where it's kind of check a box, go on to the next thing. Uh, here's an opportunity to, to pause and to really kind of uh, show each other how much they appreciate really what they do for each other. Um, and you know, we just don't always get the opportunity to take that time. And so I, I wanted to make sure that we had, even if it was only for a couple hours, mm -hmm. you know, that opportunity that they could share in a memory and hopefully it's something that they'll look back on you know, as, as the daughters go through their lives uh, as something that they cherish. Well, I, I told my husband that I didn't tell him. I asked him if he would come, but I strongly <laughs> encouraged him because it is such a valuable thing to see dads with their daughters. So it is coming up on the 19th of April. It's at the Fogel Center in Lipsick. Mm -hmm. I know that you can get tickets at area Lipsick churches, but is this just an area, an event for that region or is it open to anybody who wants to come? Certainly. Um, being the first year of event, you, you never really know what to expect. And so uh, we, we would certainly open this up to anyone and all that are interested. Um, as you said, uh, the Lipsic Ministerial Association, the churches that are inclusive of that, uh, all each have tickets uh, available for pre-sale. Um, but in addition to that, uh, folks can certainly reach out to me uh, directly um, and uh, we can make sure that they get tickets for that evening. Um, there won't be any tickets sold at the door uh, simply because we want to make sure that uh, we have enough hors d'oeuvres and uh, seating for everyone. But uh, certainly they can contact me directly either by email uh, at uh, ACKC12 at hotmail.com uh, or even by my cell phone at 419-306-0192. Uh, All right, and if for some reason you have trouble getting a hold of Adam or, or any of the Lipstick churches, you're welcome to call us here at the TV station, 419-339-4444, and we'll make sure that you're able to get tickets as well. And those tickets are $5, correct? That is correct. They are a $5 donation for each ticket. Okay, so that is April 19th, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The first, maybe the first annual, we'll see, daddy-daughter date night taking place in the Lipstick area. Great opportunity if you are a dad and you have daughters of any ages, I encourage you to plan to attend this special night. Now it's time, it's time now for this week's Lost Creek Care Center food segment. And instead of actually cooking something new, Zach is with Dr. Trudy Pieper to talk about a very important ingredient, honey. Could this just be God's gift to our health? Zach? Well, you may have heard about it in the promised land. It's honey we're talking about. Of course, it's milk too. But honey today is what we're discussing. Dr. Trudy Pieper with us now to talk about the many, many, many benefits of honey. It seems like a, a miracle substance, really. It's huge, the amount of things that, that you can use honey for. Um, I laugh when I think about it. Samson had it in the Old Testament, <laughs> um, and we saw John the Baptist in the New Testament. It's, yeah. it's been around for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah, and so many, many benefits. Of course, historically, it's been used as a remedy, but there's other, some other things like pain relief, um, softening skin, even things, many different effects that honey can have for us. It is. Um, it's my antimicrobial, which means it fights off bacteria. That's mm. its main thing. It does. And it does that because it's so thick. You know, when you get honey, you, you spread it on your bread or on, yeah. on bread or on a biscuit. Um, it takes a little work to spread that, especially if it's, it's not warmed up. And in that condition, no water or oxygen can get into the honey, and therefore it kills bacteria. It cannot okay. thrive in that uh, atmosphere. Yeah. Um, it also is one of the fundamental ingredients of hydrogen peroxide comes from something that's in honey. So yeah, I read that. <laughs> how, so it's an antiseptic. Not only it, is it um, a miracle food, but it can be used for in place or as a hydrogen peroxide type. Right. It's an antiseptic. It's great for athlete's foot. You can put it on your feet, uh, for burns, for wounds, insect bites, anything for the skin is good for. Hmm. But I particularly like it for sore throats. Uh, people are calling and say, I have this terrible sore throat. What can I do about it? <laughs> Warm water, honey, and a squirt of lemon. Wow. And that will take care of, um, it, it, it fights off all the bacteria in your mm -hmm. throat and makes it feel better too. Hmm. But most recently, the most important thing, Zach, that has just come out and I'm so excited about is that they found that honey uh, will fight against a lot of these um, anti-bacteria uh, uh, that are now being become resistant to yeah. all the antibiotics. Yeah. And uh, a college, a medical college in Ethiopia, has they tried an exam or a, I'm so study. sorry, a study. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, they did a study against three different antibiotics and compared it to using 
ginger extract and honey. Mm -hmm. And it was found that the combination of the ginger and the honey beat out and had better, more effectiveness than the three antibiotics that they tried. And we're talking about, we're not talking about your, your common colds, and then you're talking about superbugs here. Uh, MRSA, MRSA was one of them that yes, they, that they tested, tested against, and yes. it was very effective against that. Very effective. And they tested against amoxicillin, penicillin, and methicillin. And methicillin is used for staph infections. Hmm. And not only did they find when they did the combination of honey and ginger together that they beat out those, but individually, just using honey alone also was more effective than those three antibiotics, and ginger alone also was wow. more effective. Now, is there a benefit to maybe honey that we get from our area or maybe local honey, honey producers or buying it in the store? Is there a difference there? It's always better to get local honey, mm -hmm. uh, particularly uh, if you're using it for uh, allergies. A lot of people will, will take honey in their system and it helps them fight off their local yeah. allergies in their community. So it's always better to get it locally. Hmm. Wow. Now, I understand that it is important that you do not feed honey to uh, very, very young. And I did not know this, I'm thankful, not that I have any children at the moment, yeah. but I probably would have been feeding them honey, I don't know. It does, uh, any child that's under one years old, their, their gut or their intestinal uh, digestive tract has not been developed enough with the bacteria. We talked about you know, good bacteria and bad bacteria. Yeah. Well, they have not developed those bacteria enough. And in honey, it contains uh, a bacterium that carries spores. And after age one, they have developed enough that their bodies can fight that off and it's not a problem. Hmm. But you should never feed honey to a child that's under one years old. Hmm. And so it's, it's a, a miracle food and it um, has shown signs in beating um, these viruses and such, but also you have reducing swelling and pain, skin softener. Is that just all a result of, of that bacterial makeup of it that allows it to, be, to do that? It does. Um, we talked about being antiseptic, but its most important thing is it's antimicrobial. Hmm. So and it's a microbes so that's viruses, funguses, and bacteria. And it just snuffs them out. Wow. Well, something to keep in mind is we're coming out of the winter season, but right. summer season just means more cuts and burns for all of you, maybe moms out there with children. So a great home remedy to use, honey. Well, Dr. Trudy, thank you for being on with us once again. Always a pleasure. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, throwing it back to you guys. Take it away. Thanks, Zach. I'm so excited to tell you about an upcoming movie that will air April 10th at 10.30 p.m. entitled For the Glory. For the Glory is based on the true story of Kirk Kuykendall, a young man who seemingly had it all, including a place on his college basketball team and dreams of playing in the Olympics. Throughout this movie, you will see how Kurt had to face life's difficulties, including a depressed mother, a distant father, and reaching for a goal that just went within reach was ripped from him. With shattered dreams and pressure from his father to pursue what he called a real career in government, Kurt was left unable to figure out his place in the world. Because of the influence of a pretty classmate, Sherry, Kurt decided to go to church, where he learned that God's presence filling us is exactly what we need. Otherwise, we are empty inside. Shortly thereafter, Kurt offered to God whatever he had left, and through his newfound faith and determination to meet his goals, God brought Kurt to places that far succeeded any dream he could think of. Join me April 10th at 10.30 p.m. as we watch For the Glory. Back to you. Thank you, Amber. For the Glory is just one of the movies mentioned in the latest Take One that should have arrived in your mailbox last week, or if you're <laughs> like me, you got two. What oh. else can we find in this important <laughs> newsletter that, that you I like to read of. twice? Yeah, <laughs> uh, You know, if, if something is... Uh, brought up in the Bible twice or three times, it must be important, so the newsletter is very important. <laughs> so you should start getting three of them then. Oh. And you'll know you need to listen to everything that's in there. Yeah. Well, For the Glory is mentioned in our newsletter because that's one mm -hmm. of our special April movies. We've mm -hmm. got quite a few of them. And in all of those movies, Amber Chambers and Zach are our movie hosts. That's right. We do having a little fun just giving you tidbits about the movie, but also sharing a little bit of word or words from the word. Um, to encourage you as well. So definitely check out these movies. You can see the list of them in the newsletter um, that hopefully you have in your mailbox. Maybe you have two or three if you're like Andy. So. Now, if you don't have any <laughs> of these newsletters, that means you probably haven't donated a financial gift in the last 18 months because along with these newsletters also uh, was included the quarterly reports. Mm -hmm. And so if those of you who are our financial partners, we're very thankful. Those of you who are thinking about it, well, we're thankful for that too. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who it's not possible, um, we thank you for your prayers. We just thank you for your partnership. Uh, there's so many ways that you can be a part of TV44. Also in our newsletter is a Spring to Life campaign update. And guess what? We are excited to announce that it is already outdated. 
Did you <laughs> see the number? I did. 27,558-ish? <laughs> was there a that quarter out, in that out the memory? I, that's, just, I don't know. Just, I don't know. 53 cents. Oh, 53 cents. I think that's what it is. But that's not what it is anymore. What is it now? What is total? it now? We don't even we up to 50,000? We have almost reached, we're looking at the 75,000. Wow. No, that's wrong. So that's <laughs> wait, wrong. Wait, what did no. you just say? <laughs> that's 50,000 more than when it was no, no, in the no. news. No, <laughs> no, 75%. Oh. We would love to get to 75,000. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, help us exceed our so, goal Andy, of $50,000. You're really good at math. The $50,000 goal, 75%. Where does that put 37,500? Is that right? So we're oh, right okay. around that part. That's, that's, that's quick. That's, you know, we got the 53 cents it's in here like and there. Kind of like a baseball average, three I mean, out of eight. We, we've had a few interesting <laughs> donations. Like one was a certain amount and I think 17 cents at the end. And another one oh. was 143.73 or something. I don't know. Well, every penny. Every you know penny is Was there a hay penny in there? Is that what you're computing? <laughs> pesos? We, have, we, we cannot receive pesos. I have a peso. Can I give it to the station? Um, maybe for the auction. <laughs> to be auctioned off? I don't know if you're allowed to auction money. Isn't there some kind of regulation Federal about that? law about that? Well, that is wonderful news. We certainly <laughs> appreciate everyone who has participated so far. And those of you who are planning to partner with WTLW, thank you in advance. You know, we're so thankful for the support from all of you. And we have a few names we would like to thank. Lots of new Jeff. ones. This yeah. will That's be right. great. We are, we are incredibly thankful for First Christian Church in Lipsick for uh, your donation. Hmm. David Bjord from Wapakoneta, thank you so much. Uh, donation from Lima with with handwriting <laughs> that is very nice. You we can't read. You can do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> we another one that says we pledge monthly, but we are adding extra for wow, the Spring to Life neat. campaign. Nice. Thank you so mm -hmm. very much. Don't forget that 100% of your financial contribution is used to support the mission of TV44. And we have four safe, secure, and easy ways for you to partner financially with us. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Donate securely at our website, WTLW.com. Click on the Spring to Life donation button or the Donate Now page button. Mail your gift to 1844 Beatty Road, Lima, Ohio, 45807, or come visit us. You can walk it in, or you can give us a call and donate by credit card. Our number is 419-339-4444. And Andy, we also have an automatic monthly withdrawal option, right? For information on that, you can email us at contact at WTLW.com. The Spring to Life campaign continues through May the 11th. Well, maybe you've been thinking of giving to TV44 and have not had the chance to do so yet. God uses gifts of all sizes. No gift is too small. We thank you so much for your support of TV44. And with that being our close to the show, we have one more look at our verse. Jennifer? Risen Christ is mm. definitely something to celebrate. New life in Christ is available to you and to me, even to these guys. Can you gift. believe it? <laughs> even, we are in the club. Even, even to us. <laughs> well, let's read about that free gift right now. <laughs> Romans 6, 3 through 5. Do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death. Just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. What good news to end our show on. That's right. We, we talked earlier about the unity that that brings, and that's what um, that verse is talking about, the unity that we have all received that gift that Jesus died for us and he rose once again. And so that is free to you and it is free to us, even Andy and I, as Jennifer <laughs> put it. But, and if you'd like to know more about that free gift extended mm -hmm. to you, then give us a call at any time. You can reach any one of us here. Many people at the station would love uh, to talk to you and to walk you through that. No question about it. We are so thankful for the free gift that Jesus yeah. has given us that we celebrate during this Easter season, but then we're going to continue to celebrate as we get into May and June and July, and we celebrate with you as well. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, my heart.